Oh, and Hunger Games. Sorry, you're right. Joe. Okay, well, serious. Hunger Games is about to flop fantastically. Let's um, hope. No, one of the most, one of, one of most anticipated films of the year, mate. Fandango Park. But Marvel's. Don't lie. Do you, do you know? What, do you know what Fandango owns? Or what is owned? Who owns phone, what phone, is, Fandango? Uh, no, Fandango. Uh, they, they, they are. They, they, well, they do own uh, Voodoo, but they also are part of uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, that's a good oh. segue. Is this a oh got a segue culture? I'm so slow. Uh, he's learning. It. You didn't do a thing for it, did you? I did. Oh, you did. Sorry. Play oh my it. god, I'm ruining the segue. <laughs> Play the segue. Oh, fucking, fucking roll intro. I have to know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I absolutely ruined that, didn't I? <laughs> I've never seen so many people in my life say, okay, I, there's two sets of people here. Yesterday, I've never seen so many people in my life say, well, we already knew this, or we already knew. And then I've also know. seen a buttload of cope from a bunch of Snyder fans who are trying to say, boom, this is why Man of Steel and BBS got bad ratings. Uh, it's like, first hmm. of all, y'all motherfuckers can't do math because it That's said five nice. years. About the Snyder. Oh, come on. <laughs> Five years. So let's go with this. Five oh. years now. It's it, Rotten Tomatoes is a bunch of cheap bastards. I would I would have I would have haggled for more. Well, like, what's the Tom, what's the rundown of this then? Come okay, on. so I don't I don't know who, who actually uh busted them, but to no one's surprise, as we and many others have been reporting for a while, that you know, we we had suspected that a lot of these critics were being bought off, whether it's through access, other means. I mean, we insinuated it could have been cash, but in that case, they normally don't do cash because it's traceable or some sort of uh, monetary uh, compensation. But yeah. according to this report, it only costs 50? you about 50 bucks. About, about, about free 50. About, about, about free 50. 50. Okay. That's I mean, cheap. I mean, you're gonna I mean, you're gonna have to pay me a lot more than fifty bucks to lie about some of these crappy movies. I'm sorry. I mean, for a thousand dollars, you can completely change the Rotten Tomato score of a film. There you that's die. what I'm saying. Like that's obvious, as we've been saying before. It's easily manipulated. It, it, and yet, the, Andre here to talk about this. Yeah, perfect timing for this one. And Come yet, on, Andre, it, whoever doing? made Gotti couldn't afford even that. Andre, I think, deserves an I fucking knew it as well. Yeah, <laughs> we've been saying yeah. it for ages. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that surprises me here is just 50 bucks. I know, that's what I said. We would be more expensive than that. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Maybe like talk I mean, a couple gonna, of thousand bucks at least for some of these. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to like say what our rate is for like commercial spots and stuff like that. But I'll say, well, I'll tell you this. If someone came and say, hey, uh, I want you to give uh, Ahsoka a good review. Oh, there's 50 bucks in it for you if you do. Right, fuck off. On your bike, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I mean. That's a perfect reaction. Like, yeah. I mean, I f yeah. first of all, I would be like, why the hell would you think that I would uh, that that I would have a price and I would actually lie about something that we cover for any price? And why the hell would you think that that price would be 50 bucks? And we've been accused of it before, so it's not like we haven't been. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, it would cost a hell of a lot more than 50 bucks to buy my opinion. If you can't tell, I'm one of the most opinionated motherfuckers in the world. Well, apparently, a substantial amount more than what Bunker 15 would pay. Ooh. I mean, let's put it this way. I am I am not paying any or not playing any kind of mobile video game for 50 bucks. That's, I'll, I'll tell you what. And it's going to take yeah, a well, hell of a lot more. Then that's to, yeah. to make me shift a review. Yeah, likewise. So I think what's so funny about this is obviously, yeah, this is one of those moments where we all just go, yeah, obviously, like we all know this. But it's so funny because this has even happened live whilst I've been making videos before. I think it may have even happened when we I caught it once too. Once. Yep. It literally just changed. You're like, so what? They've just deleted a they've deleted a review and then the scores change. You're like, oh, 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 sorry, what? In fact, it's on my forever to see, it's crazy. On my channel, I have a quick video that six caught of uh, the uh, Andor review changing, and like 500 reviews just yeah. disappear. 
Well, I, I think what's so funny about I mean, it's so bad, but they're a bunker 15 or even like so they they implicate Rotten Tomatoes directly. So it's Bunker 15, which is a movie PR company, right? But then Bunker 15 implicate Rotten Tomatoes directly because they're like, yeah, well, we know editors at Rotten Tomatoes and they'll just change stuff anyway. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? And that we knew yeah. too because we've already seen that with what we've been jokingly referring to as the fortification, right? Yeah. It's insane. So, it's where they'll insane. shut down ratings, they'll swap ratings out, they'll, you know, clearly, unless you really do the digging, you know, and some of these ratings are just like just bots and you can tell. Right. So just to be clear here, Fandango, which owns Rotten Tomatoes, same ownership percentages on Rotten Tomatoes as Fandango is 75% Comcast and 25% Warner Brothers Discovery. Yep. And who runs it? Who runs it, Jonas? Uh, I actually don't know off the top of my head. Who is it? A former, a former Disney dude. But oh. here's the funny thing, and this is where I think, because people are like, well, that's not Disney. Well, this tells you where the money's coming from. Yeah. Well, they say that this, but this is what I find so funny. So covert well, Comcast media, and Warner are happy to take that money. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Covert media didn't return requests for comment, but Bunker 15's founder did. The founder, right? What, what did Daniel Harlow have to say? Wow, you're really reaching there. Wait, wait, because this is comical. He says everyone's <clears throat> reaching. And then he goes, we have thousands of writers in our distribution list. A small handful have set up a specific system where filmmakers can sponsor or pay to have them. Oh. Reviews. So what do you mean you're reaching, you spaz? You're literally telling oh, me no. that you've got, you've got a list. Oh, where people my. are actually taking money. What are you doing? <laughs> the oh, second really most famous there. list I want to see right now. <laughs> you know? You're really reaching there. What we do, we do actually have it though. You're reaching. <laughs> oh, I actually get to see this list, unlike the other one. Oh, you, you know, no. I bet there's somebody who is keeping track of all of these people with these horrible takes online about how you could only be paid if you to dislike Ahsoka. I bet there's somebody that's like watching the follower accounts on all of these people who yeah. will eat up anything, anything. Well, and it's not just that, Jonas. It's the people who normally would agree with a lot of this rhetoric, but if you start to see them leaning towards a negative review, it's so. Clearly, they're easy to be bought off, is yeah. what I'm seeing here, too, is that's the thing. That was kind of where I think Andre and I are coming from as a joke here, and I know I'm sure you're the same way, and I, I, could, I could probably speak for Culture and H on this, too, in a sense that, yeah, to buy our dignity, it's going to cost a hell of a lot more than 50 bucks, yeah. wow. right? I, I, but if I somebody would, yeah. who is already prone to being into that kind of stuff, even if they didn't really care for Osoka, if somebody goes, well, I'll give you 50 bucks if you give it a good review... Well, I could sure I could find some good. And we've seen these reviews, right? Andre points them out all the time. How they never actually say anything about the actual show or movie, but they'll find something to key in on that they like. And it's usually something about the diversity or the what have you. of Rosario Dawson. Our example of this was the Rings of Power. I mean, I did several yes. videos just going through the reviews yep. where I could tell totally, okay, this right here, this is actually a negative review that they have tried to put a positive spin on because you read it, they're actually completely slaughtering it. And then they latch on to diversity and they latch on to special effects. And now suddenly the whole thing is amazing because now you can press, it's a positive review, but they have all of these hedges that they can go back to later because on that one it was so clear to me that oh they don't mean this they know that if they leave this thing here standing they have no credibility so i predicted right away in the very first go back and check in the very first video i did on the rings of power reviews i made it clear these are hedges they're gonna come back and uh, and make these negative uh, say that oh we said all along that this was bad and lo and behold what happened like the very worst of them was to guardian they are the ones that had the most positive review with the most hedges and when the series was done the moment it was done they had an article that was literally titled now that the rings of power is done we all have to admit it was a stinker and then exactly as predicted, they went back to their very first review, said, we said this, blah, 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 blah. And then they pretended that their review was negative all along. Well, that was um, 
that was Entertainment Weekly, wasn't it? Entertainment Weekly were the ones that were doing the. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, okay, fine. Maybe it was. Maybe so bad. They, they did they loads all of like promotion. That. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, it's yeah. funny because they even they even point it out in this article, right? So they even say it, and 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 it's exactly what I've been saying for a little while. What we've all been saying. So when a studio is prepping the release of a new title, it will screen the film for critics in advance. It's a film publicist's job to organize their screenings and invite the writers they think will respond most positively. Then that publicist will set the movie's review embargo in part so that its initial tomato meter score is as high as possible at the moment when it can have maximal benefits for word of mouth. So they're literally uh, generating artificial hype for the film. Uh, in its initial release they're like we'll blacklist all the people that do negative reviews actually you know critique the film properly and they will only invite people that are fans so all these dc fan screenings that's why they've been doing them for their shitty films because they're like right a bunch of fans will go and get the tomato meter as high as possible which is sorry then- why i brought up the snyder bros cope with this shit because yeah. they're like trying to spin this it's like no you dumb shits warner owns them <laughs> They couldn't even spin it for themselves so well. Anyway, yeah. I just, yeah. But anyway, this is all after the five years they're discussing is after all that shit anyway. Yeah, yeah. this is just insane. I mean, they, you know, they even know Ant Man and the Wasp, you know, how it was, uh, it was in its low 40s, but initially was in, you know, sort of 60s, stuff like that, 79%, then slid to the 40s. Yeah, horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. We've all, we've all known this is going on. We've all been saying it's been going on. Just so funny. Again, I'm here for this. This is the this is what the title of this video is about, among other things. The rotten core of Hollywood. Absolutely hilarious. And, yeah, let's uh, admit one more thing here. Yeah, we've been saying this all along, and what have we gotten for it by a certain crowd? Oh, uh, you review bo- conspiracy <laughs> theorists and accused of being review oh. bombers. Notice the gaslighting, and here's the funny thing: you're a review you. bomber. Who but was you not the whole people. time? It was us, a few select <laughs> YouTubers. We actually uh. were more honest and more straightforward and more right in our coverage than anyone in the entirety of the entertainment media complex. Yes. But we're all guilty in this. They were all part of it. This is the corruption. It's rotten to the core. This, this is why once there's once there's a numerical method that can be predicted in order to game the system, every, every metric that you can game, and I'm, I'm talking about SEC filings as well, if there is a metric that you can use to your advantage and you know what those metrics are, you will start to aim towards those metrics with everything that you do. Uh, so if there is a consistent metric that you are judged by, whether it is uh, Rotten Tomato score, which is binary, is it better than bad or is it worse than good? That is the only thing that it says. It doesn't say, is it a great movie? Is it a horrible movie? Just yeah. better than bad or worse than good. Or if it's uh, if it's streaming figures and subscribers, we saw how they all game the system with streaming subscribers. Whether or not those subscribers were actually enough to keep your company afloat, um, Disney. Uh, this is this is the problem when we all start boiling everything down to one number. Uh, when when in reality, I think this the system that we've all figured out as practical people is find somebody that has similar tastes to you that goes to see movies more often yeah. than you and ask them what their opinion is and has integrity. Yeah. Someone that actually has integrity says, you know, mean, means what they say and says what they mean. That, that's what it boils down to. They're absolutely ridiculous. Outrageous. I mean, again, we've all been saying it for so long. This. Yeah. So, so funny to see it being uh, stated in the main, mainstream media now. I mean, Vulture, I guess, kind of that, really. Absolute gold. Absolute gold. 